Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the stuff that you get for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Day 2018. So as you can see, you get a beginner, beginner's guide and game mat and a deck box with cards in it. Um, so first we're going to be over going over the beginner's guide and game mat. So give me a second to open this up. Oh, it is made out of like, you know, papers, the same quality that of the uh, game mats that you get with the starter decks and structure decks, by the way. So, yeah, again, just give me a second to open it up. Okay, we're back. So, here is the beginner's guide opened up completely. As you can see, it's pretty big. Uh, we're just going to pan over everything. So, if you want to read it, pause the video. Sorry about the glare, if you see any, by the way. I'm sorry, if this one, this isn't, it's just like bold at that part, that's why it looks kind of weird. And as you can see, uh, it goes over pretty much the basics, but not everything in Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's why they have this part here. For more information, you know, yu-gi-ohcard.com. You know, so I'm guessing that it goes over stuff like the ban lists, for example. But, you know, and also the mat, uh, the beginner's guide talks about duelist leagues and dragon duels. I've never heard of dragon duels. And yeah, so, and behind this, it's all one thing, is the playmat, paper playmat. As you can see, it's pretty big. It's because it's a two-player playmat, so there's no need to have both players have a mat, but you still could. As you can see, it's been updated to include uh, the new zones because of Link Summoning, so that's a plus, you know, so you've got your... Extra zone, both of them. You know, your new pendulum zones that are now a part of the five spell and trap zones you can have. And at the bottom, well, at the top in this corner here, sorry. As you can see right here, Konami logo. But at the bottom, it tells you pretty much how to approach the game. You know, pregame, draw face, standby, main, battle. Main phase 2 and end phase. <clears throat> you know, so again, uh, I think this is a really good playmat because, you know, once again, it's updated for Link Summoning. And also, you know, it actually, with all the zones that you're given, it's, uh, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, sorry. With all the zones that you're given, all the zones actually fit on the mat, like they're not cut off like they are with the starter deck, with the with the playmat that you get with the starter deck or the structure deck. So that's a really big bonus for me. And plus, um, I don't know if any of you, well, because I don't go out and buy playmats because uh, I'm okay with using paper mats. But, you know, the real big benefit of this, besides having all the zones actually, you know, not cut off or anything, is that with... The two-player playmat, both players don't need to have a playmat, only one person does. And even if, you know, you both have your own playmats, you could still connect it with someone else's by just folding the mat. So, you know, once you fold it up, it looks just like a regular playmat. Or, I guess, except, you know, all the zones are still intact. But I really wish Konami would include a mat like this in their starter decks and structure decks because, you know... If you try to combine a playmat from a starter deck with a structure deck, they don't really line up perfectly. And even, you know, playmats from two different starter decks or structure decks from the same era of Yu-Gi-Oh! might not completely match up either. So, 
you know, I'm just saying Konami. Why not? But, yeah, that's it for the playmat, guys. So let me just move this aside. And we get to the death box. So, here we go. As you can see with the deck box, it has it features Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and Blue Eyes White Dragon in little miniature chibi versions of themselves. You know, here's the side. Dual Day, 2018, guys. Well, as you can see, this this part is a continuation of that. Um, and then here's this side. This is, well, you know, you can put your name on here. And here's the back. And yeah, let's open it up. Give me a quick second, guys. Okay, we're back. So, uh, as you can see, it's a, like, paper, plastic e or mostly paper deck box. But still, for anybody that doesn't have anything to keep their cards in, it's great. Uh, it, the Dual Day 2018 comes with two packs of cards. We're gonna go over both of them. Let me just open them real quick. Okay, the, pack, the first pack's open. By the way, guys, um, each of these Dual Day 2018 deck boxes and the packs that they come with, uh, the packs are all the same, so you're gonna get the same cards. Everyone's gonna get the same cards. And uh, I know this because my brother and I went to Duel Day and we got the same cards. But anyway, moving on. So here's what you get. You get Giant Soldier of Stone. Uh, I'm going a little closer for you guys. Summon Skull. Legend, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp. Battle Ox. Man-Eating Treasure Chest, Overdrive, Robotic Knight, Warrior Die Griefer, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Sonic Duck, Space Mambo, Elemental Hero Sparkman, Gil Garth, New Doria. Sorry about that, guys. I was just trying to get a better focus on the card. I think we went over this one. Can't remember. Uh, Gyroid, I think. It's been a long time since I've seen this from GX. Shield Crush. Soul Taker. Blustering Winds. I'm not even going to try, guys. Like, I'm just going to butcher that one. Threatening Roar. Oh, stuck. And Inspiration. Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I recognize a lot of cards from this, uh... Demo deck, that's what they call it, a demo deck. I don't, act surprisingly though, I don't actually own a lot of these cards, so for me, like, awesome, you know. But, and then they, surprisingly for Dual Day 2018, I didn't, I didn't, this is the first Dual Day I've actually gone to. Um, it, it, this one came with an extra deck, so here we go. Yeah, same thing, guys, so... This extra deck comes with Polymerization, Galaxy Serpent, as you can see here, sorry for the glare, it's a tuner. And here we also have Flash Knight, a Pendulum Monster, normal Pendulum Monster. I'm not even going to try that one either guys, sorry, that, that one's out of my league there. Also another normal Pendulum Monster. Mandragon, yeah, Mandragon, I thought that's it, Mandagon for a second. Another normal Pendulum Monster, Full Cult's Cannon, another normal Pendulum Monster, and here's the Fusion Monster, 
first of the dragons. I've never heard of this card. It's a fusion, by the way, for people that don't know. Uh, Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth. Asynchro Monster. I've never heard of this card either. <laughs> oh, it's just like, for the record, like, I do know about Yu-Gi-Oh! And I do keep up with it, the show and the cards. But, like, I just buy what I'm interested in. And watch what I'm interested in. So that's why, like, I'm sorry if, like, I should know these. I guess that's why I'm, uh, in a way, like, I, I'm not, it's, I guess in a way, I'm not new to Yu-Gi-Oh, but in a way, I'm also still new to Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't know, it's kind of weird-ish, I guess. And, uh, here's a Exceed Monster, XYZ, Gem Knight Pearl. And last but not least, a Link Monster, Link Spider. And, yeah. I, I just want to point out, too, about this extra deck is that what's really cool about all these cards here, or I guess these four, uh, your Link Summon, your Exceed Summon, Synchro Summon, and Fusion Summon Monster, is that they can all be summoned with the Demo Deck or the Pendulum cards that are given to you, and they're so easy to summon, like right here. Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth. All you need is, sorry, one tuner. Okay, well they give you one tuner. I think <laughs> just one tuner. I think yeah, I, I think it's just one tuner. So that one might be a, a bit of a like a, a luck draw, but and all it needs is one or more non-tuner monsters that equal up to this level. Not too bad. Gem Knight Pearl, two level four monsters. I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but. A lot of the cards in the demo deck itself here are all like level 4s. So many level 4s that it's like you're going to be able to do something right away with this deck. And then same thing with first of the dragons. All you need is two normal monsters. Of course you need polymerization, you know. So you're going to have to draw that first. But still, pretty easy to summon. And Link Spider, which is all it needs is one normal monster. So yeah, I, for people that are new to Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion, I think this is a really good thing to get. Um, for the record, I don't know if your local tournament store, which is where you get this stuff, or just, I guess, any local card shop, depending if, you can check uh, yugiocard.com and click on like the little banner for Dual Day to see if a store nearby you is doing Dual Day. Uh, dates vary throughout the year. I think I saw one that's doing it in like October or September this year, but anyways, like they give you pretty much a sample of everything except Ritual Summon, you know, except that, but I mean pretty much you go through like all the errors of Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess like all this, the normal stuff for that, it's like the regular Yu-Gi-Oh and, you know, GX, 5Ds, Zexo, V-Rains, Brains. I don't know. Is it V rains or rains? I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I don't... But yeah, I think it's really good. I mean, again, like I actually don't own most of these cards already. You know, from buying, you know, starter decks or structure. I tell, like I said, guys, I only buy what I like. So like, I may recognize these cards, but like, I don't own most of them. Of course, like I, I was, I did start buying cards when the first Yu-Gi-Oh series come out. So like. I do have a summon skull and other things, but, you know, this stuff's free, guys. You know, if you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh! or, you know, you're just interested, I'd recommend going. You know, it's, I think it's worth it, you know, and then, you know, just like, it might not hurt to have spares, but, you know, again, like, this free, cool little paper deck box, you know, now it might be like the strongest quality or material that they could have used to made it, but still, you know, I don't own a deck box, and the fact that it's got these guys on there, amazing. And this two-player mat, amazing. So, yeah, that's that's it, guys. Um, you know, if you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, 
I try to post more videos. Uh, I'm not quite, I mean, I had a couple of videos that I was thinking about making and uploading, but, you know, um, my schedule's been kind of busy, but, you know, stay subscribed and hit that bell, that notification bell, to, you know, to see what comes out next, you know, might be another concert or something, we don't know, so, but yeah, stay tuned guys, bye.